Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a fight that I believe this weekend on a weekend where Manuel Char is going to fight Kevin Johnson at heavyweight, on a weekend where Timothy Bradley is going to fight Manny Pacquiao at welterweight, I believe this fight will probably be the most action-packed fight this weekend. Certainly, it'll be on the short list. And it's the fight for the WBO lightweight title, legendary division, right? Duran, Shane Mosley. This is for the WBO lightweight title. And it's between Ray Beltran, who we all know got robbed when he faced Ricky Burns, right? And he's fighting a last minute replacement, Arash Usmani. Right now, let me just say, a constant theme of mine here online is that very few fighters in boxing know how to fight inside. Right, a lot of these guys are long range. A lot of these guys are mid-range. Very few guys can get on your chest and go to work. Very few know how to defend themselves up close right very few know how to shorten their punches to hurt you up close very few know how to deal with clinching up close this is that rare fight and I know Usmani is a last minute replacement this is that rare fight where both guys know how to fight inside. Let me just say, Ray Beltran of course has sparred extensively with Manny Pacquiao. Right? Extensively. Ray Beltran has the better defense. Right? But just understand that Arash Usmani fought Rances Bartholomew and Argentes Mendez and quite frankly may have beaten both right officially he's supposed to have lost to Rancis Bartholomew that's a joke understand in my opinion he wins that fight by several rounds right that's even a bigger travesty than the Ricky Burns Ray Beltran draw he fights Argentes Mendez now I've posted the ending of the Rancis Bartholomew fight, so you'll even see Teddy Atlas's scorecard for that fight. Now, Atlas and I disagree 180 degrees on the Argentes Mendez Arash Usmani fight. Just know this that that fight, and Mendez was the champion at the time of the fight, was officially ruled a draw. I want you to look at the 12th round. With about one minute and 40 seconds left in that 12th round, right, Usmani hits Mendez. Mendez loses his balance. His glove touches the canvas. Folks, that's a knockdown. If that were counted as a knockdown, Usmani would already have the title. Okay, it was for the IBF Super Featherweight title. He would already be wearing a belt around his waist. The ref did not count it as a knockdown. In fact, the ref didn't even stop the fight to clean off the gloves. The point is that Arash Usmani, whose only loss, by the way, was the questionable loss to Rancis Bartholomew. Right? Very questionable. Arash Usmani has been in the ring with championship level guys and has held his own right now I'm a big believer that you don't have to know who's gonna win a fight 
to bet on it. Right? I hope you took the warning at the beginning of this video carefully. Right? Understand, if you're a gambler and you view a fight as a 50-50 proposition, in other words, you see two fighters and you think they're evenly matched. You think it's a coin flip. You could see either guy winning the fight. Right? Well, in my opinion, you have to take what the casino gives you in situations like that. And here, the casino has made in a fight I consider to be 50-50. And folks, understand, I do not know who's going to win the fight. Either guy can win the fight. I think Arash Usmani is more offensively gifted. I think Ray Beltran is more defensively gifted. I think these guys are going to trade a lot of leather from up close. I don't know who's going to win the fight. That's why the play I like, and it's a small play, is on the guy who the casino has as the greater than plus 150 underdog. And that's Arash Usmani. Understand, if the casino is going to give me better than even money odds on a fight I personally view as even money, then I'm going to take the underdog. I'm going to take the leverage. Right? Let me just point out, Usmani, the red flags are all over the place. Right? This is that guy who hardly anyone seems to know of, but yet, when you look in his corner, you see Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. In other words, you see a world-class trainer. By the way, for trivia buffs, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad used to be the light heavyweight champion of the world. And, of course, if you know the movie Raging Bull, right? He's actually one of the fighters in the movie. He's the real fighter in the movie uh, boxing against uh, Robert De Niro in some of the scenes, right? Well... Just understand, he also is a world-class trainer, right? He seems to uh, train Chad Dawson every few fights, right? Let me also point out, too, that, of course, Usmani is rated as the number one guy in his weight class in Canada and, of course, is trained out of the Mayweather gym at times, right? So this is that guy who... When you look around his corner, when you see where he's been, when you see who he's fought, you understand that whether or not he has ever held a belt, this guy, in my opinion, is world-class level, right? I'm here to tell you that I disagree with uh, Teddy uh, on the Argentes mendez fight. Just understand the judges rule that fight a draw after 12 rounds. Right? Mendez, by the way, continues to hold the belt. He then fought Rancis Bartholomew. This is the infamous fight where he gets dropped at the end of the round after the bell sounds. And, of course, the powers that be ultimately rule that fight a no decision. So Usmani, as a last-minute replacement, is a serious replacement. Understand, too, that sometimes last-minute replacements tear you-know-what up. Right? Vitaly Klitschko was a last-minute replacement for his fight against Lennox Lewis. The problem with last-minute replacements is that the opponent who was expecting somebody else was training for somebody else. Right? Often, these fighters stay in shape between fights. So, when a Vitaly Klitschko gets a phone call and gets offered the Lennox Lewis fight, He's already in shape, right? Arash Usmani is a guy who knows he could easily have been awarded the belt in his fights, right? He feels that he's a champion. His only loss was a fight that Teddy Atlas had him winning by four or five rounds, right? That's his only loss. He spanked Francis Bartholomew. That really can't be open to debate. I'll say this. Video of the 12th round is on my side in the favorites category. You look at that last round and tell me who's holding on in that last round. 
Right, so now this guy who's 32, both of these guys are 32, gets a call and an offer to fight for the title. Folks, he's going to be in Ray Beltran's face. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for him. Right, Beltran may have been preparing for a different kind of opponent. Now he's going to have an opponent with a world-class trainer who has trained in a world-class gym up in his face trying to take the title. Right? As for Ray Beltran, I'll say this. The dynamic that worked in the Ricky Burns fight, and let me just say I picked Beltran in that fight. People here online know that fight officially ended in a draw. In my opinion, Beltran should have taken Ricky Burns' title. Burns got his against Terrence Crawford, right? There again, we picked Burns' opponent. My point is simply, Ray Beltran knows what disappointment's all about. He knows what hunger is all about. He's been around success, right? He's trained with Brady Roach. He's been in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. He sees the success and adulation that Manny Pacquiao has received. So this is the hunger fight of the weekend. Right? Usmani is going to try to close the distance. There are going to be times in this fight where these two guys are just going at it from about this far away. Right? Both guys know how to keep both hands available to themselves when they're inside. Neither guy hits that hard. Right? Both guys have less than 50% knockout ratios. Right? Just understand that these guys are going to be throwing heavy volume, but they don't really have that big one-punch knockout capability. So there are going to be times in this fight, in my opinion, where guys get dazed, guys get confused, but they're still throwing punches. So... I know many of you have hit me up on Twitter, Gambler's Advisor on Twitter, right in here on YouTube, telling me, hey, I cannot explain these odds. Arash Usami is a last-minute replacement. Shouldn't he be a bigger underdog? I'll tell you what, all I could say to those of you who feel that way, look at the films. This guy is real. Look at who he's fighting. Right? You're looking at his highlights, and then you think to yourself, isn't that Rancis Bartholomew that he's spanking here in this highlight? Isn't that Argentes Mendez that he's hitting with, you know, straight right hands in this highlight? Right? So maybe you haven't heard of the name, but understand this guy has game. I view this fight as a toss-up to timid gamblers, gamblers who are looking for sure things, this is not the direction to look. Right? I think anything can happen in this fight. For those of you who are just looking for value, you know who you are. Right? You're the value gambler. You show up and you say, hell, I don't know who's going to win this fight. It's a toss-up. Take out a coin and flip it. And then they tell you that the casino is giving one fighter a less than 40% chance to win the fight and you think that fighter has a 50% chance of winning the fight for the value gamblers take a look at the underdog in this fight Arash Usmani serious talent doesn't have a big name the casino here is giving you value hardcore fighter now in his 30s hungry fighter is gonna throw volume and is gonna do it from up close right the aggressiveness sometimes will get the better of a more technically gifted opponent let me hear from you leave your comments for me here online visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and as I said before this fights a coin flip it's not a sure thing either guy could win the fight and I wouldn't be surprised but when the casino is giving me a greater than a plus 150, 
I'm going to have to take that. So I'm taking Arash Usmani in this one. Thanks for stopping by.